else gonna draw? <laughs> what up everybody? What's good? It's Justin X Brianna. We back with another Hello. video. I feel like every YouTuber says <laughs> with another video. So let's with can another we video. find something different to We say? can eventually, but I don't have a problem with it. I do. <laughs> We're not about to do this right now. We already talked about this. We're not about to do this. Can you not play with the wire? It shakes the camera. Move your foot for the thing. <laughs> we are not doing this today. <laughs> have been enjoying the catch-up series yes. our vacations and everything and uh we still got some more that we're gonna catch you guys up on mm -hmm. but uh it can't be a true catch-up series without us catching you guys up on what's been happening in our personal lives and that kind of explains like the big gaps that kind of happened in our channel like we were like oh we're coming back da, da, da. we got some good content and then it was like three months later we had to be over here pulling poor intentions <laughs> The last video when we had went on that walk, um, I was in the process, like the hiring process. And um, I've been working at my job since the end of April. And it's been, it's been a job. Yeah. So, uh, Brie is what? Tell them what job you do. Oh, I'm a phlebotomist. It's funny because I actually, for a long time, wanted to do something in healthcare. Um, even before Bristol was born, I had planned on taking, um, I was going to either do a CNA class or a phlebotomy class. And I just kind of came to the conclusion that I wasn't down for um, wiping months. So, um, it was the place I was going to offer phlebotomy. So I was like, okay, I can do that. That sounds pretty fun. And took the class. Well, I signed, I wanted to take the class. Wind up um, missing the November class, but I caught the February class. But by then, I was actually pregnant with her. Um, so, Brisson was about eight months when I was finally like, okay, I think I really want to get back into the work field. Um, do something that I put a lot of effort into. But yeah, I uh, studied really hard to do it, got my certification, and so it was just kind of like, okay, let's do this. Um, got the job pretty quickly. Um, I think I only filled out like five applications. I ultimately chose to do this because I wanted to travel more, and I knew that um, it just wouldn't be right to be like, yeah, so Justin, I want to go here, I want to do this, and I need you to be like, Working double shifts, bro, cause and never seeing my family. Um, but that wouldn't I happen need, anyway, though. Bro. I need this money so I can go. You know, like you need to get out here and work, like a man's supposed to. <laughs> like we've been traveling, as you guys have seen, but um, you know, just making certain decisions about where we're going and how long and stuff like that has just really been kind of like making work worth it. We also added another vehicle. I got a car. Yeah. And we finally got Bria Right car. after Arizona, when I came back from Arizona, I came back to a car. She came back to a car. And, you know, just real quick, that just was a, a blessing because, you know, we so excited because or we're, we're showing so much. She's so, showing so much excitement because, you know, we had one car, you know, for the longest, the, bro. I mean, it seemed like the longest, but it was really like the first year and some months of our marriage. And, you know, it, it, it can definitely seem like a long time where you got to do everything with one car. So that's a blessing. But we got added expenses, you know, obviously car insurance, obviously there's gas, obviously there's repairs and upkeeps of the car. Um, so, uh, you know, not only has it covered that, but that ain't where all, you know, all her money goes, obviously. It's uh, uh, just helping us to flourish in other areas. I got a, no a new job uh, recently, guys. Uh, I didn't even apply for it. My dean at a high school in Detroit Public Schools. <laughs> Do that to them. Yeah, you see, this is what she doing. So done. <laughs> Y'all, you like Donkey from Shrek? Damn. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm doing that, guys, and I'm also working, uh, still working the same job at the hospital as well, and just that plus the hospital, uh, plus what Brianna's doing is just allowing us to be able to get some things done. Uh, obviously, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life, and I'm not going back to school. I mean, that's not my plan at all. Um, I've talked about before how music is something that I really care about and I would like to make that my bread and butter and I've also made some strides with that this year and this summer uh, expanding my fan base and just 
you know, learning more about how to succeed independently in uh, Capitalize. So slowly but surely, I'm gathering steam. And, you know, hopefully this time next year when I'm talking to y'all, can, you know, get the, get the, uh, uh, the lifestyle. Uh, that Did a lot of just to live this year. Lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, you know. So I'm, I'm, I got my business feelings to get stuck. <laughs> interesting adjustment with our lifestyle I mean overall we're pretty good at adapting to change I would say um, just as a couple we have adapted to change a lot but this has definitely been something because when I first started training I was getting up at like 2 in the morning so I could be at the hospital no later than 345 mind you it's a 40 minute drive there um and I was working at 345 to 1145 and you know he was coming in clutch he had to you know start taking care of Brist in the middle of the night and everything. But um, it definitely has paid off. I feel like it has paid off. And I'm only part-time, so it's not like, you know, this is a 24, well, it was never, no jobs. Um, I'm only part-time, so it's not like it's 40 hours a week, which is nice. So during her time of being at work, that's when me and Brist yeah. get in tough. You know, having our daddy-daughter time, you know. Your relationship with us actually flourished because of it. Yeah, it's been cool. You know, at first I was always worried about being at home alone with the kid. You know, mommies, they all natural with it. They carried the baby, they didn't have the baby. You know, it takes a little bit as a father to adjust to the fact that you have to care for another human being. Not that I don't get it, but it's just one of those things where it's like, wow, you're in my hands. Um, so, it, you know, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Just having our own little dynamic that developed and continues to develop over time. There's certain things that she don't do with Brie that she does with me and vice versa. So we just wanted to bring y'all up to speed, kind of catch y'all up on some of the major changes that kind of happened in our lives. Things that we uh, kind of needed a minute to adjust to and uh, even the benefits of the big changes that have taken place and kind of just keep y'all in the loop of what's going on with us. Stay tuned. We have even more adventures that we gotta um, kind of bring y'all up to speed on. We went to North Carolina and Rhode Island, which if you are following us on our Instagram, you would know. Um, if you're not, you need to, you need to just do it. Just do it right it's, Pause it's, the video. It's right here. Pause the video. It's next to Bristol Booty. Click that and go. You ain't gotta click it, just oh. type it in. Okay, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there, I guess we'll just be kind of spinning up these videos. Yeah, we can, like, how yeah. we can. Um, we love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and uh, what else can we do? I don't know. Share. Share, I guess. All right. That's the next Rihanna. Out. Mm.